my face no what the hell happened to your face you I'm dr. Reed I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here war injuries am I right you guessed right doctor German shell took my pretty little mug right off but they still call me Thomas Elwood how is your stay with us mr. Elwood oh it's bliss I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. <laughs> precisely why you're a patient here. That's it's ironic. The pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. If you get my drift. Soldier, do you need assistance? I'm fine. Just do something for this pain, will you? That's all I'm asking. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death. Okay. Death in the tr and God damn it. To be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. Are you blind? If you get my drift. You're, you're not looking at me. You're kind of making me think you're Can blind. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Hmm. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Here disgust on every street corner. The daily cool. disguised as a hospital. That's... Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. We have not. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Why? Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. What well, happened to your face? It's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. Well, I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? Hmm. What if in the end, nobody was spared? I mean, that's not gonna happen. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. No, no one knows when it'll be over, but it end, it'll end. How All long epidemics do. Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Oh, oh, you would be surprised. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. But I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. A grumpy ambulance driver, huh? That's interesting. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation. Whether he deserved it or not. Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. 
there again. Okay, then. Ooh, a thing! Aw. Oh, it's hoping for something a little bit more eventful. Okay, then. It's locked, all right. Okay, then. What? Me no understand. Not now. All right, then, Dr. Swansea. What? The way he said not now kind of makes me think he's masturbating furiously in there. I can't blame him. It's a great way to take your mind off of, well, anything really. It's locked. Please come back later. Uh, if only I knew where the fuck to go. Um, okay, not there. Uh, ooh! Cool, a used hacksaw! Very interesting. Okay then, well... Fucking whatever, I guess. It's locked, all right. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Yes, Relegated that it is. to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Ah, oh, you won't? Why not? Coffins are so fucking cool, though. Article on Econs. It is a rare opportunity and, an, and almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last ten years while interviewing a few vampires, or Econ, or Econ, whatever the fuck, as they prefer to call themselves. Supernatural speed! A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but a, the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I have seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly. But it is not a teleport or dematerialization, it is only a supernatural speed. For me, it is a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than any of us. Than us. I also noticed that such speed seems to exhaust them, and that they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism! One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait Mesmerism. But it has nothing to do with a mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed told, even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be. As if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master, and that the result could, ver could vary widely from one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one, the possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood Awareness. Blood Awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave for blood. They must use it yeah, they must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function and to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge, this need for blood, may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. 
A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him, since its smell can and attractiveness can be so strong. When he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them, inside warm bodies, through walls, and uh, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill, and that in some cases he can even sense diseases, infected clothes, or even, an, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many... Medical app... What? I didn't press that, but sure. You could have so many medical applications, it would almost beggar's belief. Uh, what does beggar's belief mean? Dr Dr Dragon Bane? This ancient sword with a Latin phrase engraved on the blade has been forged in Wales during the 6th century and belonged to Paulus Aurelianus, founder of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. Legend says he had this blade forged before he chose the path of exile and left England with his people. Dragonbane has been passed to each new primate of the Brotherhood and may have been used in secret ceremonies. When a primate was sent on a path of war to defeat a hostile creature, the sacred sword... Oh, may have been used in secret ceremonies when a primate was sent on a path of war to defeat a hostile creature. The sacred was supposedly the sacred sword was supposedly lost during the schism between the Brotherhood and the Guard of Prewen in the middle of the 19th century. It seems a few copies may have been made, but this is the true and original Dragonbane. What the fuck is an ancient sword doing here? What is why? What happened? Why is there a loading screen now? All I did was pick up a sword. What? Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and for the staff to, to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and, and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window without a scaffolding or with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this, mu this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to, to understand what you must be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently in, we are all pleasantly facing. What? Huh? I'm glad I met you these dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes con concerning what I have discovered about Econ in the last few years. Feel free to read about it if you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Thank you.